Welcome to our Five on Five. We're pleased to welcome in Megan Davis Lightman from Davis Consulting Group and the Chamber Leadership Class from Medford and Jackson County, as well as Karen Evans, the Director of Development for So Humane, and your friend Tommy. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for having Thank us. You. <laughs> Tommy's clearly having a good time. So, so <laughs> let me, Megan, let me start with you and talking about the Chamber Leadership Class. In yeah. case people don't know, what, yeah. what is this group doing? So the class is driven by uh, the Chamber of Medford, Jackson County, and the purpose of the class is to introduce business leaders to the local community. Um, every year, the leadership class selects an organization um, to be a part of its community service project. And this year, we selected So Humane. And very exciting for the organization, of course. So how did you guys choose So Humane? I, mm -hmm. mean, I imagine you had a lot of applicants. We did. We had um, applicants that um, needed a range from small project work to large project work. and the group discussed it. Um, we've got about 40 people in the class mm. and that represent businesses throughout the community, um, healthcare, the city, the county, banks, mm. consulting firms, architects, the utilities. Um, so there are community members a wide swath. A wide of, swath. Of, yeah, yeah, okay. And, yeah. and I know in the past the group has, has helped the Hawthorne Park renovation. Absolutely. Family Nurturing Center has been a recipient. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. so humane, Karen. What, what are you guys hoping to ha accomplish with the group's help? Well, as most people know, we've been in the same location for 88 years. And so the building is a bit run down and tired. We've spent all of our resources over the last four years improving the area where the dogs actually live. Mm -hmm. So we haven't had resources for general... Um, repairs like painting and rotting, rotting soffits, uh, the parking lot's in pretty bad condition, so we're hoping to get all those things taken care of. Okay, all right, so, so how, how can people help? Can, can people help? I mean, the, Absolutely. The, the chamber class, the leadership class is full, people can't join it right now, but right. people can help So Humane in the group. They can, and they, so we're hoping that the, your viewers mm -hmm. and the larger community will work with us in supporting the project. They can write a check and make it out to the Rogue Valley Foundation. Um, and they can visit our GoFundMe page. Mm -hmm. um, and for more information, they can go to our uh, Facebook page. Yeah, the So Humane Project, So Humane on Facebook. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, Tommy looks like he's ready to take a break. We're going <laughs> to take a quick break. Okay. Love much more in a moment. Stay with us. Back to our Five on Five again, we're talking about how the Medford Jackson County Chamber Leadership Class is helping So Humane with this very cool project. You guys are trying to raise a, a big chunk of change to, to help out So Humane. Let's first talk about what makes you guys different from, from other shelters. Well, one of the things that makes us different is that we are a no-kill facility. So when a dog like Tommy comes into our campus, he never runs out of time. So we take our time and make sure that we find the right home for him um, and his forever home. Yeah, and, and so tell us what, what, what particular part of the facilities, again, are gonna see these upgrades that'll help pups like Tommy. Well, one of the areas that we're focusing on is our stray hold area. Um, it doesn't have a good cover right now from the elements, and so when we have dogs come in that are waiting to be picked up by Jackson County, they have to stay in those kennels, and so we're really mm -hmm. hoping to make those kennels more comfortable for them. Um, we're gonna be painting the buildings and repairing some rot um, that we hope will prevent the building from deteriorating, deteriorating any further. Yeah, and, and one of the things that many of the animals, their runs and everything are outside, mm -hmm. correct? And so having a good, good roof, if you will, mm -hmm. or over these, these outdoor areas is, is huge in the winter months around. Absolutely, the winter and the summer. You know, we need good shade when it's sure. hot and um, protection from the elements when it's cold. Okay, and so you guys just launched this project, Megan, like a, well, not a month ago maybe? A couple of months ago. Oh, okay. okay. Um, well, no, in February. Okay. We did. Uh, that was our official launch, but the group has been sort of working behind the scenes okay. to lay out the concept and then figure out where we want to focus our priorities. Okay, and so trying to raise how much money and, and what's your deadline yeah. now? We want to raise $45,000 mm -hmm. by April 1st. Okay. So we're about two thirds of the way there. We've so had some. Well on our way. We okay. are. We've had some amazing and generous contributions coming from companies like Adroit and Pacific Power and Rogue Waste and Recycling and um, Asante. Um, and it really is just, it's a great representation of the community. Wonderful. And, it, and the goal really is 
to demonstrate how everyone can make a difference. Okay. And what the class has decided is that they really want to make a difference by putting a new face on a place that matters so much to the community. Certainly, certainly. Okay, and, and people can go to the GoFundMe page they and, can go and to the any amount helps, of course, and mm -hmm. or Project So Humane on Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah. they can write a check to the Rogue Valley Foundation. Okay, very good. Ladies, thank you so much for being here today. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Tommy, you can get out of here soon. Right? <laughs> right, stay with us. We'll be right back.